my name is Rachel King and I am a finalist for the I Heart Flying Seal Your Future Scholarship. First and foremost, I want to say thank you so much to the I Heart Flying Foundation and all the sponsors for making this incredible opportunity possible. I am honored to be among so many incredible women and incredible applicants. And it's by an organization that is constantly uplifting and encouraging and inspiring and helping make the dreams of women in aviation come true. I believe that my sense of perseverance and positive demeanor and attitude in the face of adversity or hardship is this trait that I've really come to admire. Um, it's not something that I truly was aware of would happen. I lost my loans, I lost my job, and I really was just at a loss for what was going to happen. Instead of, I don't know, feeling defeated by it, I felt like, okay, this is my passion, how do I make it happen? And so I constantly reached out to my flight school and I was always asking them, what can I do for you? What what job can you give me? And it ended up being plane washing, which uh, became a huge part of my life and a very important part of my life. Um, and so I believe my perseverance and um, that, that drive to just not take no for an answer and really understanding that so a really big goal of mine and a mission I set out to accomplish was to learn to uh, not only become a better pilot but also learn to fly in a little bit more difficult of areas. Uh, so I made the jump that during my time build I wanted to use those hours wisely and to learn. So I moved to Colorado and I actually got a whole lot more than I bargained for. I currently work at this beautiful jet center and I get to work with these guys every day, which is really awesome. I was interested in learning backcountry flying. So um, when I first arrived here, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I went to take off in a 172 and it just didn't want to take it off at its rotation speed. I had the instructor looking at me like I was nuts, like, you know, you got another thousand feet before this thing is gonna lift off the ground. Um, because the density altitude that day was about 8,200. Uh, we are currently at 5,100 feet here starting, starting altitude. altitude. So I already learned something right off the bat when I started flying here. You know, on Long Island, it's sea level and you can lift off the ground in a 152 and no problem. So that was something that I really learned already. Um, there's also some really crazy weather that happens here. We're right off the foothills of the Rocky Mountains, which means we get a lot of mountain um, wave turbulence. And in addition to that, we get frequent, frequent wind shear, um, as we all know as pilots is scary. So I've really gotten uh, into weather and looking at weather patterns and making those go, no go decisions based on um, the progression of what I'm seeing rather just like reading the meets or looking at a TAF or something like that. I really have um, grown so much as a pilot um, being able to put all that together and see a whole picture of what's happening instead of just, you know, um, some predictions. Uh, so that has been a goal of mine to become a better pilot and to uh, fly in the backcountry. Something else is that I originally was very terrified of flying before I even started. So uh, going from being terrified to flying to becoming very passionate about wanting to fly the backcountry and see that kind of change happen. Um, so that's something that I've definitely accomplished as a pilot and something I definitely set out to accomplish. And coming here has uh, provided me with that. And like I said, I got a hold. As for financially supplementing and supporting my flying, I currently work here in this beautiful jet center uh, in Colorado, and I get to um, I work dispatch, and I am also one of the, they call them line guys, but I'm a line girl, and I do fuelings, and um, I get to just work with incredible jets like this on a daily basis, and I also get to make a lot of uh, connections with commercial pilots who get to tell me like the real ins and outs of the aviation, so I think that's a really invaluable thing. I also own a uh, plane washing business that I started not too long ago and the mission of this plane washing business is to employ female aviators so that they may fund their flying as I have used before and it's been a big part of my life so I would like to use that to supplement my training as well as applying uh, to other scholarships. In addition to the plane washing, I also started a sticker business, which allowed me to pay for all of my riddance. It was really cool that the community came together to support me like that. 
Uh, since I did have so much time to build in between my instrument and my commercial, I have um, really taken to preparing for everything that I possibly can here on the ground. Um, so in this downtime of not really flying too much, I have finished all my writtens up to CFI. I study ground, I study the ACS, and for every flight that I take, I plan something for commercial or um, I, I have something that I'm working on so that when I do have the financial means to take um, the, uh, like further steps, when I do have the financial means to afford that flying to take my check ride, I'm going to be ready, hit the ground running. And I do anticipate if I receive the scholarship to be able to take my check ride by the end of April, early May, which would just mean so much to me, just pushing through this whole year. It would be really great to be able to move forward onto the next step. It no longer is a race to get to those 1500 hours and I think that that's a really incredible uh, gift that was given that we really weren't aware of. Being a pilot just there's just so much that goes into it and being a safe pilot and a competent pilot and um, you know a knowledgeable pilot takes a lot of time and a lot of care and a lot of patience. So this time has really taught me that. And during this time, um, I have joined the local Civil Air Patrol chapter. And while they don't meet so much right now just because of COVID, I have joined to try to be with Search and Rescue. I have um, done pilots and pause volunteering trips whenever I'm able to. Um, I'll ask around, you know, are you okay with, you know, having animals in your plane if so awesome I'll find some other person like a girl to come in time build with me or something like that and um, pilots and pauses is this really incredible thing because you know it's rewarding because you're getting to work with animals and rescue animals and bring them to the forever home which is just I mean like how cool is that um, and then you also get to plan flights to all these places that you've never been to. So you're forced, again, to be out of your comfort zone and be really meticulous about your planning. So every time you go somewhere new, you need to know, you know, fuel planning. And when you do pick up the, uh, the animal, you need to know their weights. So you need to be really uh, careful about your weight and balances and your performances, what type of good asphalt, uh, do I have enough landing distance with, you know, the altitude that I'm at, all that sort of stuff. You also have to take into account the fact that you have a living being that you've never uh, flown with before in your aircraft. And so for that, you have to be really, um, you know, you have to think of all the different possibilities. Really into this mindset of a commercial pilot where you really need to understand and care for not just yourself in the cockpit, but take into account the passengers aboard. Um, so I think that that's been a really incredible blessing in my life, just being able to do pilots. I believe it is the responsibility of whoever receives this scholarship to uphold the values and the mission of the foundation that they're winning it from. Um, I believe that my values align very well with I Heart Flying's as our Heart Flying has been such a big part of my aviation. Uh, just constantly seeing the women empowering women and um, everything that they do for women in aviation. It's just incredible. And I genuinely hope to continue that and be a part of that in the future.